this is what it's about one of my favorite places here in British Columbia welcome to the west coast of Vancouver Island We're in Euclid right now on the west coast of Vancouver Island on these beautiful beautiful rocks and uh, I have set up for a long exposure here with this uh, leading line here that are formed by these cliffs on the left side on the right side of the rain and with the beautiful beautiful ocean I do have some waves over there that are splashing in the distance not to mention the clouds that we have right now just beauty all around look at this We're getting close to sunset and look at those clouds on the sky, just magnificent. What a beautiful day to come to Vancouver Island and shoot landscapes. Well, we're going to be here for the whole weekend, but uh, today is the first day and uh, I wanted to come to this uh, waterfront here in the Euclid at the Amplitude Lighthouse. Maybe you can see the tip of it and uh, shoot some uh, long exposures here. There's a better photo to be had from a higher ground from here, I believe. I've got to be careful not to fall and uh, break all my gear and all my bones. I'm a bit higher up now where I have a better view of this uh, area here. And also, now I can see the lighthouse. It's right there behind me. And I'm going to try to get an exposure with that guy. But first, I want to zoom out to 17 millimeters and get all of this in the frame. I have a 10 stops ND filter on the lens, but what's cool is the fact that I can still focus through that uh, ND filter. Because normally you cannot do it, but because I'm shooting towards the sunset, towards the sun, towards the part where it's the brightest, I can focus through that filter. My buddy David over there? David! We came to Vancouver Island. Marilyn! My fiance, Sophia! We're all here taking photos. So, uh, this is gonna be an awesome shoot. We have uh, tomorrow all day to shoot some photos. Today until sunset. You know what? I have some big splashing waves on that side behind me. There's a big cliff and that's an area where uh, the waves are more prominent. So I think I'm gonna put uh, 70 to 300 millimeters on and get some really, really fast exposures on a burst so I can catch as much as the action because uh, when you're shooting waves, that's the plan. Put your camera on burst to have the most amount of chances to catch that uh, nice photo when the wave splashes and it breaks into a million pieces. And those waves are splashing. You should see this place starting end of December until uh, the end of winter, basically the winter season, when it's also storm season. Now, I came two years in a row to shoot the storm season here on Vancouver Island. Once I came here at this uh, Amphitrite Lighthouse, that's what it's called. And another time I went to Port Renfrew, there's some huge, huge waves. And uh, this winter I will do the same. I'll travel either Port Renfrew or come here to shoot the, uh, the beautiful monster waves of the storm season. Every now and then there's a wave that splashes over that cliff over there. And the water then just flows down the cliff into the, into the ocean. And I'm going to try to catch that with the long exposure. The problem is it doesn't happen all the time, but uh, that's what I'm going to try to do. Just time it somehow and uh, take a photo of that. Yes, I just got a big wave there washing over that cliff. Beauty. Let's see the photo. Yeah, I got it. I've got it.
Oh, there's another section here that I started with, but right now we have even more water washing on that cliff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come here with the camera, zoom in, and get a really, really nice exposure of that water flowing down the cliff. I just love this location. Don't you? Well, look at that lighthouse with those clouds on top of it right now. You see that? Magnificent day! So I want to talk to you a little bit about my composition on this lighthouse over here. I chose the lighthouse to frame it on the left side of the frame because um, on the left side there I have a lot of trees and I don't necessarily want those in the frame. However, I think it's much more interesting to have the lighthouse and then have all this nice space with the cliffs and the water continuing into the frame on the right side. Right now, because I zoomed in on a lighthouse, that's the main subject, and I centered it because I don't have any other subjects on the left or on the right side of the frame, so that's why the lighthouse is smack in the middle of the frame. I took a few photos of Marilyn showcasing the lighthouse. She's the main model, but the lighthouse is uh, there for a supportive uh, element. But uh, they look very nice, check them out. another spot just five minutes literally five minutes away from the other location and what I like about this location is those islands in the distance they're just the perfect subject or I should say the perfect subjects because uh, I have uh, one two three four five six seven and who knows how many small islands in the background over there so it's gonna be a beautiful beautiful frame beautiful composition and of course it's a long exposure I came to this location but I never actually came to this location I was always on that side I don't know why I didn't come here man because this is bloody awesome you can only see a little bit of the lighthouse right now but what you can see is that sky and that sunset that's starting to happen right now. I really want to get up on that cliff, on that biggest cliff over there, so I can have a good view of the bay and of the lighthouse and of the sky. And I think I'm going to do just that. I'm hoping to find a really nice viewpoint from the top of this cliff right here uh, with the lighthouse and with that magnificent sky. Okay, here we go. I think we have a winner. Oh yeah. Look at that baby. Woo! Uh, you know what the problem is? The view is nice and dandy and all that. But there's a flipping tree right in the flipping way of that lighthouse man. And it's not like I can go anywhere from here to get a better view, a better angle. Oh, you know what? I'm going to shoot it anyway. Okay, so what I did right now is I put the CPL on first and I rotated it so I can get rid of the glare in the water and also to get some more contrast in that sky. And on top of the CPL I put the 10 stop ND filter so I'm curious to see what kind of photo I'm getting from this combination. the CPL on 
and I have to time that light of the lighthouse and it's pretty tricky. Yes, I got it. Right now I'm on the 70 to 300 millimeters and composition wise I have the lighthouse on the right side of the frame because I want to show everything that's on the left meaning the, the ocean and the cliffs as well again I'm not interested as much in those trees I'm rather interested in the coastline the rugged cliffs and those waves that are pounding the shore over there and of course because the sunset light is a bit more on the left side of the lighthouse that's why I framed also the lighthouse on the right side so I can reveal a little bit more of that scene in the left So right now we're going to go to a different location It's like 10 minutes from here I believe it's called Big Beach or something along those lines I'm at another spot right here overlooking another beach Indeed, it is Big Beach, the one that I thought it was called like that. We have some beautiful clouds on the sky. Baby, you want to say something? Hello! <laughs> <laughs> and the sunset just peeking through those clouds. Just magnificent. Now, my plan is to go a bit more that way so I can catch more of the vista with that building, but also more of the sunset that's going on on the right side of the frame over there. I just love this scene. I have a polarizer on and an MD filter on. Well, I'm on a literal viewpoint right here on this cliff. I want to get as much of that sunset as possible with the cliffs and I have some raging water that's hitting the, the cliff over there. So that's the plan. Now let's execute it. Now it's the time that we have those beautiful colors of the sunset and I really really like the scattered clouds that we have in the distance. I was about to leave and look at this magnificent stuff happening right here. This thing just doesn't let me leave. I have a long exposure going on here with the camera in the water looking towards the bay here What a fantastic sunset we have over here At one point all the clouds were super red from that sun Just beautiful Check out this light right here Are you kidding me right now? Look at it. Just fire everywhere you look. 